What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling. Welcome back. Hello. How we doing? Okay. So yesterday I went to my site. It was Monday morning and I was like, I want to do like, uh, my, I want to share my like clinical schedule, like what I'm about to do. But I was running kind of not late, but just on time, and I had a client right away, so I didn't get a chance to, like, you know, make this video, and I wish I did, because, you know, I'm dressed up, and, like, you could see, like, what I wear, and, like, how it is in the morning, so I'm working hard on getting a vlog camera um, that I can just, like, have in the car, uh, that I can vlog maybe on my way, or on my way back, or, you know, right after, so I can share those thoughts with you guys, um, I think that'll be interesting for the last, like, semester and a half, um, the semester and the summer, and then what's left of this one, right? I think that'd be good to share, because there's so many things that I think about right at the moment, and I can't really sit down and do this. I took my little stand out of my car from when I had my old car to this car, and it, like, kind of sticks onto the windshield, and I didn't love that look. It was kind of in the way, so, um, it's at my house. I might bring it back I don't know I don't love it though because it like sits there the whole time I want to get something that just like sits on the dashboard and doesn't move like a little tripod situation all right guys before we get started today my name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling follow me at Katie Counseling over on Insta listen to my podcast I do have to upload more episodes but I think there's like seven to ten episodes now um I gave it like a good go um last year and I'm going to start this year too. I have a lot of ideas for that. But um yeah, my priority is the YouTube channel right now and once I graduate, I'm going to have like a social media day every Friday where I upload content constantly and I'm excited about that. But until then, we are clinical interns and we got ish to do, right? So let me tell you my day or just real quick. I won't talk about like my personal stuff too long, but um, I wake up, usually my alarm is like 527 or 550. So I have both on. So I try to wake up earlier. So I have more time to myself and I have time to like get ready, put my makeup on, uh, get my son ready, whatever, you know, um, eat breakfast because I really don't love eating when I'm there, but I do a lot. Like, I eat a lot of snacks. So, I usually leave my house around 7, 7 15, um, because I have to drop my son off at a certain time before, like, the pre school time of them accepting kids. So, that's my own thing. I mean, some people, if they didn't have that responsibility, they wouldn't have to wake up so early, but it's nice to wake up early to have time. So, I'm on my way at like 7 30. 735. So pretty much takes me like 28 to 35 minutes to drive there. So I usually get there at like 810, 815. Uh, I go in about 815. That's been my goal this semester because I'm going to tell you that 15 minutes between 815 and 830 adds up during the week. That's 45 minutes a week. Uh, and you need 300 hours, so I'll take my 15 minutes, I'll sit there, I'll do whatever I gotta do, prep, you know? So, yeah, 8.15, that's my goal time, um, to be there. Um, I'll tell you my whole schedule, like, what I had to do yesterday, right? So yesterday, I get in at 8.15, the clients, um, but there's two different things. If a client is coming from, like, the main facility that we work with, their like main biopsychosocial and everything will be done so when I do their intake it's only like the rules of the program what's allowed what's not allowed and a treatment plan that we're gonna make for them for their time in the program that I'm at I'm at an intensive outpatient program and it's like an eight-week program that's usually what's recommended so we sit down and do that. So usually in the morning, if I if that doesn't happen, if we don't have any new people coming in, then um, what is it called? Then we sit down with all the other therapists and we kind of go over what's going on, um, progress, and 
different things that are happening that we have to go over to be kind of knowledgeable about what's going on with the clients because it is an intensive outpatient program. We do see the clients three days a week for um, process group, which is therapy group, psychoeducational group, and for individual sessions. And the clients will see their psychiatrist as well and things like that. So we have to make sure that all the wheels are turning and we have to talk about that and Um, part of the place that I work at, they have sober living. So there's a lot of people that also live in sober living. And that's a whole other component that you have to consider when you're working with these clients, because there's rules and things that happen there that you have to be aware of and observe and things like that. So yeah, (laughs) I, I think you guys know, I work at a addictions and substance abuse addictions facility. Um, So that's why there's sober living and things like that attached to it. We started our process group, which is an hour and a half. So I do an hour and a half of that. I sit there, we process, I mean, not we, but the clients process. Um, People talk about whatever they want to talk about. And in that moment, I am responsible for the notes for that group. So I'm sitting there with my um, iPad. I bring my iPad because I'm, I've am i been like so sick of paper and pencil. I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm like throwing paper away all the time. Like for what? You know, uh, so I use my Notability app. Um, I take notes. Uh, I have to make sure I open up um, the temples for the group notes. Pretty much that's my responsibility. You have to like open up the thing and make sure everybody that's present is there and accounted for. It's kind of like attendance. Um, And then, yeah, you have to formulate a group note, like what the people did in the group. And then you have to write down notes, like therapy notes. Like if it was an individual session, you have to write a note like that for everybody that's present. So then I get a break for a little bit, like 15, 20 minutes. And then we hop right into psychoeducational group, which is an hour. And right now they're having me just pick what I want to do. So I kind of went through like the cabinet of appropriate topics, or if I like brought something to them and I was like, okay, I want to learn how to do this type of group. I could do it. Um, so pretty much I'm like learning new, um, groups, There's, I mean, you can do, you know, psychoed, anything from like attachment styles to family dynamics to um, different things about like addiction and things like that. So, I mean, any kind of education that will help the client stay in recovery and be sober. Yep. Or learning about why certain people do certain things and how family affects everybody and our community affects everybody. That's kind of... um, what psycho ed is and what else okay so after that uh i had a 30 minute individual session and then after that i had my uh not faculty but supervision i had supervision with my supervisor for an hour and we actually did my midterm evaluation form which is for school. So she kind of graded me on my progress and it's kind of early cause it's only the end of, well, actually it's really not. It's the end of February. It's two months in. Wow. I can't believe it's two months in. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. January, February, March, April. Yeah. All right. Well, we're halfway there. So it's a evaluation form that we did with my supervisor and you know, then I get to talk to her about anything I want to talk to her about. She usually shows me new things or again, like we kind of go over how I'm doing, what I need to work on, what my goals are, what everything is going to be, you know. So yeah, that's my day. And then I think around like two o'clock I left yesterday after the supervision. And then, yeah, usually we end the day with like making sure everybody's on the same page uh that 
you know, the observations that everybody made that day. And we just, it's really good. It's cool and good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. So that is my uh, clinical day, hour by hour. Um, that's my Monday. My Mondays are usually a little bit longer than I go in on Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'm tired. It's about 20 hours a week. Um, total with all the notes and stuff I do at home. So it's a lot. I got one more semester of a lot and then I'm done. So I will catch you guys soon. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Follow me at Katie Counseling over on Instagram. If you have any questions, DM me there or leave a comment down below. I will answer. You know I will. I always do. All right, guys, take care now. Bye-bye.